Hey guys, today we're making some buttercream icing, which has been requested. We're starting off with a half cup of butter. Now I'm using some salted butter here, but you can do a fourth cup of salted butter and a fourth cup of unsalted butter. As long as you have a little bit of salt in your buttercream to counteract the sweetness from the sugar, you're good. So I just mixed that until it was light and fluffy and now we're going in with some vanilla extract and I'm adding one teaspoon of that. And then from here I am adding one cup of powdered sugar and I am going to mix this until it's all incorporated. So this vanilla buttercream recipe will be good to ice about 12 cupcakes or a small cake. So we're just mixing until it is all creamed together and then we are going to scrape down the sides and get all that powdered sugar off the sides of the bowl. And from here I'm going to add one third of a cup of milk. You can use cream if you want the icing to be a little bit thicker, but if you're just making this for any occasion at home, I don't see a problem with just adding plain milk. So I am going to mix this until it's all incorporated, and then we are going in with a second cup of powdered sugar, which I am going to add right about now. And I really like to add the powdered sugar one cup at a time because the powdered sugar makes a mess all over your counter. So if you do it in small increments, then it doesn't make as much of a mess. And it's also easy to gauge how much milk you may need if you need to add a little bit extra or if you need to add a little bit extra powdered sugar. I don't know if you guys have noticed with some recipes where you'll follow it to a T, but it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to. Okay, so we're adding one more cup of powdered sugar and then mixing it again. But back to my point, um, sometimes you'll follow a recipe and it won't turn out how the recipe stated. So I personally don't like to follow recipes, but I'm doing this for your guys' sake because some of you have requested it. Um, this is just a general guideline and it will help you to get a really nice delicious icing. Also, we're adding one more cup of powdered sugar, which makes four cups. So yeah, with this recipe, definitely follow it, but then add more powdered sugar if you want the icing to be a little bit more stiff. Add a little bit more milk if you want it to be softer. Um, it's really up to your preference. I know some people really like to have, you know, sweeter buttercream. Um, some people don't really like as much sweetness in their buttercream so you know maybe add some more unsalted butter that's the beauty of being in the kitchen you just get to play around with um, the ingredients that you're working with to make something that you personally really love so i'm just cleaning off the powdered sugar that's all over my counter and bringing the bowl back and i am going to mix the ingredients one more time to get it really nice and creamy and here you see we've got a beautiful buttercream you can use this on cake on cupcakes you can even use it on sugar cookies too and once we're done with this we're gonna go in with a rubber spatula or a spoon whatever you have on hand and we're gonna give this a really good stir and this way the air pockets will kind of dissolve. Of course, you're still going to have some left over in the buttercream, but for the most part, they're going to be gone and you're going to have a really smooth, silky buttercream to work with on your desserts. I'm going to have all of the ingredients listed below in the description. That way you can easily find them. And I hope you guys try this recipe and um, let me know if you guys make any changes to it and how you like it. Here I am just transferring our ready-made buttercream to a smaller bowl. And doing it like this, you can add color easily and um, it's just kind of cleaner to work this way once you're adding it to either your piping bag or your cake. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you have any more recommendations, send them my way. Let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!